Hello, this is Ryan Turner with VWDiesel.net, and today I'm going to be talking about the Rostec VAGCOM cable, or VCDS as it is now known. This cable is an invaluable tool when it comes to troubleshooting your Volkswagen. It can tell you generic OBD2 codes, it can tell you specific codes for your car only, it can aid in the troubleshooting process, and it is a very, very, very useful tool if you're a Volkswagen owner. It is something that you Pretty much if you have anything that is, call it 93 or above, you, you pretty much need one of these if you're going to work on your car and maintain it for a long period of time. Now, Rostec was started in 1999 by Hugh Ross and his wife, and it comes in a couple different versions now. There's a K2 USB, which will do most cars up to 2003. There is the USB hex can, which is what this version is, and this version will do any Volkswagen, Audi, Seat, Skoda car on the market. Um, and then there is a light version that I believe the license for that is like $99. And it covers all the cheapo generic USB adapters that you find on eBay. And then there was even the old, old version of 409.1, which is only for basically Mark III cars and um, some of the earlier, you know, 92 or so Jettas you could use that on. Um, it has its use, but it's very limited. And let me show you what some of those look like. This is a genuine Rostec unit. And this, this is a genuine Rostec unit. And this is a cheapo eBay one. Now they look about the same. So you can tell they're both the same basic shape and cable. But this is the older 409.1 version. Uh, and I bought this years ago on eBay for like 25 bucks. And before I even had this one, I made my own. And I used this in my 98 Jetta that I bought off of Craigslist for $300 as my first interface. I was working as an electronics technician, as you can see. I printed the circuit board out using opto isolators here that separated the car from the computer side. And it's pretty jank, but it works. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. And then I moved up to this one. And as time progressed on, I, I bought this one for my shop. And it has saved me countless, countless hours troubleshooting, um, troubleshooting cars. Now, this cable has a lot of useful applications for your Volkswagen. Not only does it help you when you're trying to troubleshoot a problem, it can help you while you're getting help. There are a lot of times that if you just ask for, hey, my car's doing this, what do I do? Especially on the Vortex and TDI Club and VW Diesel, people will ask you, hey, do you have a VACOM? Give us the full readout of what your car does. And they can take that and look at it and kind of give you a better idea of what is going on with your car. Without that extra info, you know, it is a lot of times a whole lot dif more difficult to come up with what's going on. Um, it can also change settings on your cars. It can change how your key fob operates. It can change your daytime running lights. It can change um, how your radio works. It can change coding in your ECU. Like if you're doing an auto to a manual swap, you can change the instrument cluster with that. If you are timing your diesel, this is a have to have tool because you can see where your injection pump is at and be able to adjust that within spec. If you are monitoring boost issues, you can do it with this. Uh, it just, it really has lots of applications. You can set service interval resets with this and you can charge your friends to use it. Uh, there is a VADCOM locator that you can find if you just Google VCDS locator and it'll show you a list of people that are in your area of VACOM. If you have one like I do, you can register for the list, which I have, and people around you can come and borrow it or you can charge them a couple bucks to use it just as a service fee. Um, so theoretically, you can make your money back on one of these cables. Now this one itself was $350, I believe, or it might've been $400. They have several different pricing options. You can buy them with a limited of 10 VINs that does this work with. Uh, but I suggest ponying up, I think it's an extra $50 to use it with unlimited VINs because uh, 
I go through Volkswagens a lot. And chances are you might too. And it doesn't take any time to use up those 10 bins or say you scan a car for a friend or something like that. So I suggest buying the unlimited VIN version. I also suggest buying this USB hex can with the unlimited VINs. Um, they have a wireless version. I have not tested that yet, so I can't really comment on that. Um, it seems to be working well for others, but I kind of like this version, um, mainly because it's the one that I've used forever and I haven't tried the other one yet, uh, but I have tried other, other wireless troubleshooting tools and I seem to like the cabled ones more. Um, mainly because you don't have to deal with connectivity issues and setting all that up. It's just plug in and go. This is the setup that I have for my shop. It's just a simple cheap tablet that I bought. Actually, I didn't buy it, I traded it for it. I think I, well, I guess I did kind of buy it. I traded a radio and 75 bucks for this. It's just a generic Windows 7 tablet that I plug it into and sit in the car and everything works great. You can do it on a laptop. If you have the wireless version, you can use a smartphone with it. Uh, so Rostec is doing very good things when it comes to making it easier for everybody to use. They have great support. There is a dedicated forum for support for VCDS on the Vortex. You can find it just by going to the community forums there. And other sites like VW Diesel and TDI Club have great support uh, where the people that are work at Ross Tech also monitor those forums and help provide customer support that way. They are also very responsive if you contact them, but they ask that you kind of do your homework first, which really isn't out of the question. If you had a product as great as this that everybody used when they were having troubles, you would be inundated with requests every day that are just stupid, quite honestly. If you call their number, press option five. That's a good one. I like that one. What I'm going to be doing on VW Diesel here in the future is using VADCOM to show you how to ch make changes to your vehicles. I will start with the vehicles that I have on hand and we'll probably have to borrow some for friends to do some tutorials because I've got a lot of stuff but I don't have everything yet. Pretty close though. Um, so we are going to do some pretty cool tutorials and guides. Um, you feel free to submit what you want to the website and I will try to get that taken care of for you. And I really, really enjoy this product. It really does make life easier on me. It'll make your life easier too. It's well made. This one here has been in my shop for four years now, I think I've had it. And it still looks new. I try to take care of it, but it still gets a lot of use and abuse. I mean, let's be honest, I'm not easy on stuff. No shop environment is really easy on stuff. So the cable is very well made. The team at Ross Tech is pretty great at trying to answer your questions and trying to help. So I really suggest uh, picking up one of these. I will have a link in the show notes where you can find one from our friends at fixmyvw.com uh, because they are an authorized reseller of VADCOM through Ross Tech. So thank you very much and have a good day. Boop, boop, boop.